Taryn, how are you doing today? I am really good. I'm great. Thank you for asking. Happy to hear it. Uh, before we get too deep into it, I have to show you something. This is a lovely photo of you and Elton. Oh, yeah, nice. At the, uh, at the photo shoot. If you're going to swipe right, something I noticed, I've decided to become a ca <laughs> your, your own personal <laughs> casting director. Bono. Is you, that the next one? I think it should be the next one. I wow. was shocked because I looked first and I thought it was... Yeah, Elton and I, Bono. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And you've already worked saw, with his daughter. I think it's those glasses. I think it's like a. I got. I got a bit of Iron Man. I think off that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, a bit of a Tony Stark, uh, expensive yeah, sunglasses thing. Yeah, a bit of Tony. So uh, that could be your next project after this one, which uh, I absolutely loved, and Thanks, I man. thought you were so good in it. Thank you. And the very first thing I said when I came out was like, if he doesn't get nominated for all the big things for this, there's no justice in this world. Um, how do you feel like with the reaction that it's been getting? Because it's deserved. But Thank you. I mean, um, it's really it's a relief because you know we've all we've all worked phenomenally hard to kind of try and make something that we would feel proud of, and it sort of has come together in, as recently as the past couple of weeks with all the sound mixing and everything. But the edit was locked some, a few weeks ago. And I watched it without all of the effects and all the finished sound, but I thought, well, that cut is that's something to be proud of. And um, and I think had had people not agreed, um, I, I would have thought that maybe I, I could know I had poor judgment. So sure. I, it's really nice to. Um, <laughs> to be validated in that way. Well, I like like I said, every aspect of it, I actually can't wait to recommend it to people who normally wouldn't go to see this kind of film, because I'm like, it's not what you're expecting. Rory, you're a legend. Um, once again, you've proven to be uh, talented in more than one ways, because your singing voice in this is spectacular. Thank you. So, not picking an Elton song, what would be your go-to at a karaoke night? Uh, I do have a karaoke song, and it's Faith by George Michael. <laughs> yeah. That's a... That's a that's a pick. That's a choice. It's a pick, <laughs> and it's uh, it's one that I've done for many many years. So much so that I did when Richard Madden and I did Carpool Karaoke, I insisted that we include it. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, and it's quite fun actually. Check it out. We're quite proud of our carpool. Oh, I'll have to absolutely <laughs> we'll have to check that out. Um, one of the things I, I did notice is in the film is that. Around that era, when you're looking back at Elton, it was around the same time, I guess, as Freddie. You mentioned George there. Yeah, yeah, uh, there, yeah. Was a, there was some very strong, uh, iconic characters who like definitely supported the LGBTQ community. Absolutely. Um, but when you look at the landscape today, it's there, there isn't there isn't as many that you'd like absolutely go, or they're one of the biggest stars in the world. Do you think we've kind of tapered off just because it has become less of an issue, or what's your take on that? I've never really thought of it that way um but perhaps you're right i mean i um i don't know there are still some fair, there are still some big gay stars you've got your sam smith yeah you? i mean i i think it's there's you know it felt more radical then than now which is i suppose evidence of progression i think the fact that uh, the male intimacy in this film has been made as much of shows that there's still work to be done mm -hmm. um but I'm not really able to offer or offer much more on it than that, really. All I know is that I'm very proud that Elton asked me to play him, and I um, am very proud to be to be a part of a film that celebrates a gay icon's gayness. That's that's a perfect way of putting it. And one final question: uh, You were fantastic in the role as Thank you. of Elton, and like Thank I think you. that speaks to you as an actor. But I think anyone would have a bit of a leg up when they get into those fantastic. Fabulous outfits, right. like I it's pr right. practically uh, like RuPaul's Drag Race it's at certain hard, points. It's hard to be boring in them, it's, isn't it? Yeah, you can't play that down. Like the second you put <laughs> yeah. that on, you look yourself in the mirror. You're like, I am the queen of this. <laughs> look, you know, it would, though, I think that so much of Elton's uh, sense of style and fashion sense is about empowerment, and and I certainly felt that way. Whether it be wearing seven inch heels, horns on my head or a pair of hot pants. Yeah. These things all make you feel provocative, uh, sexy. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure everyone would agree that me and hot pants are very sexy, but I felt very <laughs> sexy. Um, that's but, all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly that, that is all that matters. And I think that's how Elton felt. So uh, they're a gift, those outfits. Fantastic, Taryn, thank you so much. Thank you, Rory. Thanks, buddy. Thank you very much. So how does it feel to be a star? It's never gonna last. Let's just enjoy it while we can. 
house sleeping arrangements get out, all of this is gone. I just hope you realise you're choosing a life of being alone forever. Don't you want to just sing without this ridiculous paraphernalia? People don't pay to see Reg Dwight. They pay to see Elton John. Sorry. I know. Hey, how much pressure I'm under? Not really. I'll still be collecting my 20% long after you've killed yourself. Maybe I should have tried to be more ordinary. You were never ordinary. Boy, you were. <laughs> Look at you now.